Canada has 73,000 kilometres of pipelines, all of them built with conditions attached to ensure safety. But when it comes to making sure the companies actually follow through on those conditions, a report out today says the National Energy Board isn't doing a very good job. Approximately 50% of the time, the NEB was not able to assure us that they followed up on the regulations or the approval conditions. Those conditions are often imposed because of concerns raised in public hearings into big projects about Aboriginal jobs or protecting the environment, but many fall through the cracks. In one case, Gelfand says the NEB ordered a company to study how a pipeline break would affect caribou habitat. Ten years later, it still wasn't done. So there's quite a large range of issues. We recommended that they become much more systematic. Environmentalists say the report doesn't give the public much confidence. I think it's, it's safe to say that you know, no big energy projects, no pipelines are going to get built until this whole system is completely reformed and, and rebuilt from scratch. This report is likely to fuel the growing political debate about pipelines, like the proposed Energy East project, considered the best chance to get Alberta oil to the East Coast for export. Today, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau met with Montreal Mayor Denis Coderre, who's become an outspoken opponent. It's not just economy, yes, environment, no, it's no at every level. Trudeau is promising to fix the way big projects are assessed. Canadians know that you can't build a strong economy without protecting the environment at the same time. It's not one or the other. Coderre appeared to soften his position after Trudeau's visit. As for the National Energy Board, it said in a statement it's working on a better system to track if companies are complying with its conditions and will have it in place by the end of the year. Margot McDermott, CBC News, Ottawa.